Good evening. Mikael, your uh, six games unbeaten into the fifth round. How pleased are you? I'm very pleased. Uh, I knew it was going to be tough here. Um, we played that really young squad today and I wanted to see their reaction. And I'm very pleased because I saw a lot of things that um, I really liked. How bad is the staff injury? They're going to assess him between today and tomorrow. But when a player has to come off, normally a central defender, ho <laughs> hopefully I'm wrong, but normally it's not good news. Does it make a move for Pablo Marie more necessary? No, we had a very clear intention uh, of what we wanted to do in the market with the resources we have. If we can do it, fine, but uh, his, uh, his fitness, it won't change anything. You mentioned the things that pleased you most tonight with the young team. What were mm. they? In the first half, I think uh, we were really, really good. I think they executed everything that uh, we planned in a really good way. They have courage to play. They have courage to make big decisions. You know, they are important in this side. They, there's no the ice on the cake. No, no, they are probably the core of that team at the moment. And to play with that accountability and uh, and decision, I really like it. The three English youngsters must really please you. And Saka filling in, mm. and you know, whether it was excellent from the field, the captain looks, looks like he's they were terrific. Their work rates and as well. For me, it's the courage to play, you know, to make big decisions, to not be scared and play safe, you know. That's that's the difference with these three kids. Um, Eddie, again, was terrific, and uh, and Joe as well. I really like Joe in that position. I think he can be an outstanding player playing there, and, and he showed tonight. Does, does, does Nketiah's goal tonight, and it's the way he finishes it, I mean, that, that proves that he's going to play games. You look at him on the wing, Three seconds later, you look the cross and he's there all the time in the middle of the goal. That was his score goal. He's always there in the middle of the goal, ready to do that. And as well, the way he works without the ball is terrific. That first goal, apparently 22 passes in the goal. Mm. Is that the sort of football that you've been mm. basically... If we can score in two passes, better. <laughs> so we don't need that many, but obviously we need to move the opponent. Uh, and find the right spaces to attack, and uh, and they've done it uh, really, really well. I think the two goals were were really nice. How important can the cup run be, be for the team? You know, in terms of confidence, in terms of ability? it gives you a lift. You know, go around, extra round. Now that you look at the next opponent, you get closer to Wembley, which is uh, a magnificent day. Let's go step by step, but um, they are really willing. I had experience as a player, and I wanted to experience as a manager now. Mikel, how does it compare being the captain of an Arsenal team in the cup to the manager of an Arsenal team in the cup? You sleep worst, for sure, <laughs> before the games, and uh, it's a completely different life, you know. But um, I'm pleased with today's performance. Let's go step by step and see where we get. Saka seems to be learning really fast how to play left back. We know it's not his natural position. Mm. Long term could be where he's best. Well, it's the situation now because we don't have any left backs at the moment. What I like is that he put his head down. It's not his favorite position to play, but we try to adapt him in with his qualities to play as much as possible in the position that he likes. But then he's very willing to learn all the defensive principles that uh, we are asking him to do, and his attitude is really good. Got Nick obviously pulls him away in the next round. That's going to be a quite a test. Bear in mind. <laughs> he was here, he will be there, you know, all the FA Cup games away from home are like this. But uh, yeah, we will analyse them and I'm sure it will be difficult. Mikel, what would you say to any club, including Barcelona, who may be thinking about signing the Bamagang this week? That I will know about here 100%. I'm so happy with him and I can't wait to have him available again after the suspension. Okay, Last one, guys. Can't forget to perform twice now since you've been there. I mean, they're in the relegation zone at the moment. What you've seen of them, you've got what it takes to, to end. Sorry, can you? Ah. I have great sympathy for, for for the way they play, for the ground, for the manager. I hope they stay because I think they deserve it. And they've been very unlucky with some of the results this season as well, I think. And um, and hopefully they can get out there. Thanks, all. Where is the I'm calling. Thank you guys. Thank you. Huh? He's gonna have a scan. Yeah, I think so, huh? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Think he's yeah, legal. Thank you.